This is Travis and uh, today like I was talking about we're going to talk about how to tie up a horse using three different knots so the first knot I'm going to talk about is the bank robbers knot and you know it it's called after you're tying up the horse you rob a bank and you gotta get out of here you're gonna pull your knot get on your horse and skedaddle out of the way okay so the first thing I like to do is I like to we'll call this a standing end of the rope and this is a running end of the rope first thing is I'm gonna create a bite just like this I'm going to place that bite right on top of the rail. I'm going to reach over the top of the rail and I'm going to create a second bite and lay it on top of the first bite. Then I'm going to reach underneath the bar, grab the outside piece of rope, create another bite, place it right inside my very first bite and pinch and grab. Then I'm going to grab the standing end of the rope next to the horse and pull. When I pull tight, okay i have a nice tongue sticking out okay this is called the bank robber's knot because when i pull it ungoes and i'm off to the races getting away all right once again I'll show you how to tie this knot I'll make sure i grab a bite get pretty close to the horse put the bite over top of the rail reach over top of the rail create a second bite Take the bite over top of the first bite, reach underneath, and as you can tell when I'm tying this, I don't have my fingers inside of any of the bites because if the horse pulls away, I don't want to lose a digit for safety. Clean it up, pull towards the horse, and pull away from the horse same time, and it'll lock itself down. Now I know I have it tied correctly because I got one locking bar right across my last or bite right here. Okay, so once again, I pull, it comes undone. And that's all there is to a bank robber's knot. The second knot we're gonna work on is called the daisy chain. So we're just gonna place the rope over top of the rail. I'm gonna create a circle on top of the, the rope I was just using. And I'm gonna pull a bite up through the first one, then the next one make another one and make another one okay so when it hangs down I don't have a lot of stuff for the horse to step into okay and then when it's time to go all I have to do is grab the end of my rope and pull and it comes undone and the horse is out of here okay okay once again I'm going to take the rope Go over top of the rail. Gonna crisscross. Creating a rabbit hole, like such. Reach through the rabbit hole. Pull the rope up through. Reach through this one if I want. And just keep on doing this motion, this fashion. Until I get to the very end. Okay. Now you can either keep it like this, but if your horse like such and if you pull it undo or if you have a houdini horse that likes to get out just take the end okay and bring it back through so that way if he pulls it doesn't come undone this is the way i do it uh, some people do it different but this is the way i do it once again undo my security knot and then all i gotta do is pull and it comes undone we're out of here all right so that's called the daisy chain that's how a lot of people tie up a horse the third knot we're going to talk about is called the barrier knot this one is very nice too and what i like about it is it's easy to get undone from the horse kind of bank robber's knot so on the, once again i'm going to create a bite lay the bite over top of the rail with my left hand going underneath the rail grab my rope okay now i'm going to clean it up so what I want is I want the standing end of the rope next to the horse. I want the running end of the rope, okay, next to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, okay, the outside rope, bring the top rope, create a bite, go through everything without getting my fingers in, 
pull my stang in towards the horse, my loop that I created towards the rail, and pull both of them at the same time, okay? Now, if you got a Udini horse, once again, I'm just gonna pull it through, and I can create a daisy chain if I want, okay? If I pull, it comes undone for a fair or not, otherwise a horseshoe knot, and I'm off to the races. So once again, this is a farrier knot. I'm gonna create a bite, throw a loop over, go and reach underneath the bar, grab my loop, come up here, and I'm gonna make sure that my ropes are parallel. I'm gonna drop the running end to the bar, maintaining my position with the rope connected to the horse, reach underneath all my loops, grab another bite, push the bite through the loop I created, grab the other end of the rope, pull the rope towards the horse, and then the loop end, grab up parallel to the hitching post. Now I have my farrier knot. My farrier knot's real easy to go. And what I like about this, you actually have two support wraps around the piping for horse when it wants to pull back, okay? So it gives a little bit more traction on it. I wanna get out of here, I just pull, and I'm off to the race just like that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, those are your three knots. Please hit subscribe to my channel and like. Thank you so much. Take care. Adios.